Good morning. My name is Father Kevin Moley. I'm a Redemptress and I reside at St. Clemens Mission House in Ephrata, Pennsylvania. I would like to say a few words about the gospel of the seventh Sunday after Easter. First of all, let us pray. We pray that our minds and our hearts will always be open to hear the word of God and to put that word into practice. We ask that God's word this week will bless each one of us through Christ our Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. And Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son, so that your Son may glorify you, just as you gave him authority over all the people, so that your Son may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life, that they should know you, the only true God, and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorified you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of this world. They belong to you and you gave them to me, and they kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from me, because the words that you gave to me I have given to them. And they accepted them and truly understood that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for the ones you have given me, because they are yours, and everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine. And I have glorified, I have been glorified in them, and now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world, while I am coming to you, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as a people of God, we celebrate the seventh Sunday of Easter. The gospel tells us the purpose of Jesus coming to earth and the purpose of his life. Jesus tells us clearly that he came to earth to do the Father's will, to redeem and forgive the sins of all mankind, and to give honor and glory to his Father. Jesus never lost his focus, even at the most difficult moments of his passion, crucifixion and death, when he cries out to his Father to take this chalice of suffering away from him, even when he sweated blood with total fear and anxiety, he cries out to the Father, not my will be done, but your will be done. He cries out on the cross, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? And then he proclaims, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. We are blessed by the mother of God and our precious mom Mary. She is the one who declares, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Do it my life as you wish. She proclaims that the purpose of her life is to give honor and glory to the Father. My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. All through the years of the history of the church, there have been many martyrs, people who were willing to give up their lives because of their belief and love of the Lord Jesus Christ. I think of St. Stephen, the first martyr of the church, 
who was stoned to death. I think of the seven brothers and sons who were willing to die because of their faith and their love of God. Their very mother was present and she urged their children, her children not to give in to the emperor, but to follow the Lord. I think of the 17 Egyptian Catholic Catholics who were willing to be beheaded by ISIS because of their belief and love of Jesus Christ. I am sure that many of these men had wives and children, yet would not deny their faith, knowing that they would never see their families again. What a terrible loss for their dear families. I remember getting treatment for my prostate cancer at Sloan Kettering Hospital. And the doctor who attended me was a doctor from a foreign country. I remember saying to the doctor, doctor, where are you from? And he answered, father, I am from Egypt. I am a Coptic Catholic. I am so proud of those 17 men who were beheaded by ISIS, who would not give their, up their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. They were willing to die for their faith and love of Jesus Christ. We as Coptic Catholics of Egypt are so proud of these men. The message for each one of us today is whether the purpose of our life is to do God's will and to give honor and glory to God with our lives. Only you and I can answer that. May God bless each one of you, your family and loved ones. I'd like to have a prayer of the faithful now while we pray for ourselves, for our church, our nation and our world. Lord, we ask that your word today will help us to live our lives trying to do your will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we ask that we may try to live our lives giving honor and glory to you and to your and our Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for Ukraine and all the dear people there suffering this terrible, unjust, and evil war, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for all those listening today that they may be blessed by you every day of their lives and especially in their needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for all our deceased loved ones that they may live with you forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we offer up these petitions, hoping always to do your will and to give honor and glory to you and to your and our Father. Amen. And may Almighty God bless each and every one of you, your family and loved ones. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And let us live in the peace and joy of the Lord.